Brian Overland, author of C++ Without Fear, second edition. I'm going to talk a little bit now about the use of the exercises in the book. There's over a hundred of them. And if you pick up this book and want to learn how to program, particularly if you haven't done a lot of programming before or you're completely new to C++, I really recommend that you start with these exercises. I have been teaching or tutoring people in programming one-on-one -on -one and in classes for many years, for decades. So I've seen what people go through when they deal with the mental blocks of programming. What I find is that when people actually start to write the code themselves, they're finally learning. When they sit down and get into a program, make changes, make it do what they want, then and only then do you really get what's going on with the programming language. That's why I feel so proud about these exercises. Again, there's, there's over a hundred of them. And I think my book is unique in that it ties all the exercises to the sample code in the chapters. It builds on them. It uh, encourages the user or the reader to get in and make some simple change. And then in the exercise, they make maybe another simple change. I've been criticized by some people uh, that these were too easy. But the trick is that after you've gone through several of these exercises and you've made these changes and you've made the program do something unique or different or a twist on the example, you're really writing C++. And you're not just staring at a big long printout of code, which is what you do with most books, but you're really learning to program. You're actually going to get it.